Good afternoon folks, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna try and cook a cheap, did I just pick my nose? No. Oh. So today we're going to try and cook a cheap steak. Now before I get into that, if you haven't already done so, do me a favor. Hit the subscribe button, the like button, and the bell. Don't forget to ring the bell. It'll let you know each and every time I upload a video. I appreciate you all being a part of my channel. And uh, I'm trying to do the best we can with this isolation world going on that we're living in. Anyway, today, like I said, I got a cheap steak because I can be a cheap ass sometimes. And I want to see how I can make that steak taste like an inexpensive steak. So here's the deal. This is the steak. It's already seasoned up. It's got nothing more than a little bit of olive oil. Regular black pepper. Montreal steak spice. And because I like to get kicked in the teeth once in a while, some Everglades heat. That came from North Carolina. It's the only place I could find the Everglades seasoning. Anyway, so that's what the plan is today. This has been marinating for about two hours. I'm just going to let it sit there, continue to thaw out, continue to marinate. But the main part of the video here today is going to be the review of my Char Griller Griller. My Char Griller Barbecue. As you know, it does have the propane on one side, which my propane tank's been empty for over a year because I don't like to use it. I do use the other charcoal side. I can smoke with it, I can charcoal with it, and that's the way I prefer to cook. So that's the way we're gonna cook this steak, and we got some very large Schenkel's hot dogs. Um, let me just have a look at these guys. Look at this. Those are huge. It's from a local butcher in Chatham. Uh, Schenkel's Legacy Gluten-Free Legacy Wiener. Jumbo Wiener at that. That's what she said. Anyway, we're going to get these on the barbecue soon, but this is going to be about the barbecue itself. Now, I did do a review of the barbecue last year, but I had just got it. I'm now starting my second year with this barbecue. I'm going to let you know what I think about it. I'm going to let you know if it's worth buying. I'm going to let you know again what I paid for it. And after a year, I'm going to show you that the condition it's in. You're going to want to stick around for that. Char Griller, you're watching. And in true channel fashion, it's starting to rain. Go figure. All right, guys, there's a steak sitting in a marinade. Looks pretty good. Just a kind of a spoiler alert here. I do use the charcoal with the lighter fluid in it. It makes it a lot easier to light because I don't have one of those chimney things yet. I do need to get one, but I don't have one yet. So I use the charcoal that's already got the fluid in it. The only issue with that is if you put your food on too soon, you're going to have the flavor of the lighter fluid in your food. So you got to let that burn off. And you can tell, you can stand there, you can smell the charcoal. You'll know when that fluid's gone. The charcoal's are nice and gray and hot. Whoa, it's time to put the meat on. Again, that's... Right, guys I gotta put things on in phases here so I've got my steak on there then I'm gonna put the hot dogs on shortly after I start flipping the steak and then Jen's got some type of veggie burger contraption you can't even call that thing a burger anyway she's got one of those that'll go on last cause it only takes five minutes also if you're wondering why things are a little shaky I'm no longer using the Joby tripod because 
it just it lasts about a month and then it doesn't want to stand up anymore so I'm trying things handheld so if it's a little shaky I apologize but time to flip the steak all right the char griller this thing is held up awesome again this is the propane side very seldom use it always always use the charcoal side reason the food just tastes better but uh, this thing is not rusting. I did have a cover on it all year long, but it's not rusting. The only the only thing going on is the grates where the coal sit. It's bent from the heat. Other than that, for two hundred and forty nine dollars from Walmart, it is a fantastic buy. Char Griller also has, and by the way, this is not sponsored by Char Griller. They also have an actual smoker. Smoker. Hmm. I need a smoker. That may be what we're looking at next, but she's not going to let me get another one as long as this one's still working. I might have to break this or something. Anyway, it's time for the hot dogs. These say burger on the package. This ain't no burger. I'm almost ashamed to put this veggie burger on my grill. Guys, don't hold it against me. I get divorced if I don't. God knows I can't afford that. All right guys, you all tell me, what doesn't belong here? And there we have a little quarantine barbecue. That cheap steak was as tender as I've ever had. I could not believe it. Full disclosure, none of those companies have sponsored my channel at all. I like something, I use it, and when I use it, I like to tell you about it because it's a good product. That's all. Anyway, this Char Griller barbecue, absolutely amazing. Like I said, 249 bucks, Walmart. It's the combo one, it's got the propane on one side, obviously the charcoal on the other. Don't use the propane, use the charcoal. Personal preference. But Char Griller, that is an awesome barbecue for the money. I do need to find, I don't even know the product name of it, the actual smoker itself. That's what I want. That's what I need to find. So if any of you guys have used that, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, we're all kind of in the same boat. We're all kind of held up where we're at and not getting out very much. But we're doing the best we can and that's all we can do. The best we can. Anyway, that's all I got for today's video. I hope you enjoyed that. The steak was awesome. The salad was awesome. Those burgers, those are, I can't even call them burgers. Man. They had no business being on my barbecue. It's, it's that simple. Anyway, that's my opinion. If that's not yours, that's okay. You're entitled to yours. That's all I got. I'll see you on the next one. Later. <laughs>